Canton, Ohio gets the football spotlight once every year. The annual ceremonies at the Pro Football Hall of Fame honor the game's very best. The first of two for the Indianapolis Colts happened tonight as Edgerin James reached his career's ultimate achievement. Brad Brown has a look. The kid from Immokalee finally made it to the big time. I realized I could support my family through football. It took hard work, dedication, and sacrifices to achieve my goals. With family, friends, and former teammates on hand, Edgerin James finally earned his enshrinement to the Hall of Fame. It came a year late for the class of 2020, but was well worth the wait. To my mama, we're here. <laughs> No blueprint, no manual, and most importantly, no man. I'm your man. Colts owner Jim Irsay made the presentation. The pair developed a strong bond from the time the team selected Edger in fourth overall in the 1999 draft. He means a, a great deal to me. He represents to me so much, you know, about what the American dream's about and so much about what we all aspire to be. If, if I had a son, I'd want it to be him. Let me put it that way. I will always cherish my years with the coach. I was born and raised in South Florida. So coming to the Midwest was a whole different experience for me. To the city of, to the city of Indianapolis, thank you for embracing me. We just wanted to win uh, as a group, and, and, and I think we all kind of had our self uh, goals and, 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 and things that we wanted to personally, individually achieve, and we would kind of keep those to the side, but I mean, but we made sure that none of those were on top of, 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 of a team success. Colts fans turned up in Canton, even a few making the trip from way down south. Watching a guy come from Miami, come from the bottom, and make it all the way to the top and do it his way, didn't change, didn't adjust. It's phenomenal. Everybody down there is rooting for him. How exciting is it to be here in Canton then? Super exciting. It took a 17-hour drive to get here. <laughs> Me and the wife. Couldn't miss it to save our lives. And Edgerin used his platform to make some strong statements that resonated beyond football. So many people told me that you can't have dreads and gold teeth and be accepted in the NFL. But I never listened. I always knew who I was. A great football player. A great father. A proud black man. A lion. And this was my main. And to all those who have been judged prematurely because of their appearance, the way they speak, where they come from, and in the minds of many should be locked up in prison, I represent us. It's only half of the celebration for the Colts this weekend. We'll do it all again on Sunday when Peyton Manning joins the Hall of Fame's class of 2021. In Canton, Ohio, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.